right. Uh, we just got finished up at a pony party, and we have some lovely handcrafted jewelry here. And let me introduce my host here. And your name is? I am Erin Fitzpatrick. And um, I am the director of Ichigo Dreams Productions, and that is the company that uh, sponsors this jewelry that I have created here. These are all my original designs. I take um, I take pony uh, figures and toys from all kinds of different places, and then I just turn them into jewelry and bows and clips and just fun stuff like that. <laughs> What's your favorite kind of jewelry to make? Um, I actually really enjoy making bows because I never had done that before and um, I found it was really easy and it's a lot of fun to make and um, it's really quick and actually <laughs> so it's but I think they turn out really cute and it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Which is your favorite pony? My favorite pony is Twilight Sparkle. Um, I love to cosplay her. She's uh, She loves to read, and that's totally like me. <laughs> but she's still sarcastic and a lot of fun. And so she has got a special place in my heart. <laughs> now, which pony is the top seller, you'd say? Um, actually, uh, Pinkie Pie is really popular. Um, uh, she, I think a lot of people just like her because she's funny and random <laughs> but um yeah she's been my best seller so far and also Fluttershy sells a lot too so <laughs> now besides it being St. Patrick's Day and green <laughs> and you're also in green you're in cosplaying and please talk about your outfit um well uh, St. Patrick's Day is one of just my favorite holidays and so um I was kind of debating between whether I wanted to do green or dress as a pony today so I kind of um I decided to go with green but it sort of has that fun pony feel I feel like <laughs> it's just sort of an original look I threw together just fun stuff that reminded me of St. Patrick's Day <laughs> what got you into cosplaying um I've been cosplaying for uh years but I really um I really have gotten a lot more into it the last um two two years or so and I just it's I always um I think I always wanted to do it I just didn't know what it was called or how to what it was something that I wanted to that I just desired to do and be a part of. I just didn't know there were other people that did it and that I could like actually make it a hobby and just dress up like my favorite characters and express my love for different series and different shows and characters just by, you know, throwing on a costume or making a costume and just walking around and people actually liking it and wanting to take pictures and it's it's so much fun. I love it. <laughs> now, do you go to a lot of conventions and cosplay and sell your merchandise? Um, I just actually um, started selling the merchandise this year. Um, I think January 23rd was my official launch date. So it's really new. Um, this is, I uh, kind of did a little preview at Anime LA back in January, um, but this is the first con I've actually sold at, but hopefully I'm gonna be selling it a lot more. I've been going to um, a lot of cons in Southern California for years, and um, I started going to Fanime last year, which is my first Northern California con, and that was a lot of fun. I'm planning on going again. So yeah, I kind of just hit all, as many cons as I can, cosplay and it's a lot of fun <laughs> now since it is a kind of an ensemble show do you find yourself cosplaying with other ponies <laughs> yes actually if you go to um, my Facebook which is uh, facebook.com slash Ichigo Dreams Productions. Um, you'll see the lookbook for my jewelry, and I have um, a whole bunch of friends that came in with me and uh, modeled all my jewelry for me. Um, <laughs> it was it was such a fun day. It was such a really good shoot. Everything turned out so beautiful, and the colors are just bright and fun. It's perfect for showing off pony jewelry. And, and I... Um, so that was a lot of fun. And I love to cosplay in groups and just get a bunch of friends together because it's so much more fun. It's fun to see one character that you really love, but when you see a whole group of them from one of your favorite series, it's the coolest thing ever. So yeah. yeah. Which is the next con you'd say for you coming up? Um, I believe Fanime will be my next con and that's in May, I believe. So that's the next one planned. I um, There's a possibility I might be performing a little something at... Um, um, AX or no, not AX, um, AM squared. <laughs> yeah. Cause, um, that's kind of in the works still. So we'll see about that. Hopefully. How difficult would you say is it to make the jewelry and any kind of comments of that nature? Well, um, I've been, you know, making cosplay and accessories and stuff like that for a while, but, um, I never had made like jewelry just for jewelry's sake, but be it was an easy enough transition. Um, just, I guess I've always sort of had that 
design and fun accessories were kind of what I started making and then I kind of learned how to sew after that. So it was kind of an easy transition for me to make. Um, it's still it's still challenging sometimes trying to figure out little the little details, the little inner workings. Um, but I'm learning and it's it's fun. It's a lot of, it's just a great hobby. And do you do commissions as well? Definitely, um, as far as cosplay. Um, or Cosplay and pony, and, or does anyone bring you their old figurines to be like, here, can you make something with this? No one's done that yet, but that'd be really cool. If anybody has any pony figures, I would love to just make something fun out of them. I, I do occasionally do some costly commissions and I definitely customize a lot of these jewelry pieces. So if um, you see a character that you that, that you like, but you maybe want a different kind of piece, I can do that. Or if you don't see one of the characters, I can usually, I, I can do a lot of little tweaks and customizations. So, cool. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>